Hello students and welcome back to another course on the Iron Kingdoms with, of course, me, Professor Castor. We've gotten to the sections of War Beast and War Jacks of Circle, Obros, and Kodor, respectively. Also, stay tuned at the end of this episode. We're going to be discussing the new Mark IV versions of each of these guys, if they are available to us at this time, as well as seeing what the difference is between their Mark III counterparts. Also, please leave a like at the beginning of this video. It does help with the faculty and administration, a.k.a. the YouTube algorithm, as we are all aware. And let's begin. The Argus Moonhound, Circle Light War Beast. Prowling the nighttime shadows, the Argus Moonhound stalks the wilds of Western Amoran to hunt down the enemies of the Circle Obros no matter where they hide. Moonhounds can detect the very faintest sense of prey. Even supernatural methods of concealment cannot thwart their supplurative senses. Across canes, moonhounds flush out those who seek to escape the circle, calling to their masters with the chorus of low baying. Victims who try to flee are relentlessly run down by these savage hounds' powerful jaws. The Argus Moonhound is a product of the Black Clad's meticulous stewardship of the wild Argus packs. The beast handlers of the circle perceive these some nocturnal breeds of Argus vastly outstripped others as trackers. In work spanning generations, the black lads cultivated these breeds, allowing desired traits to flourish. In time, the moonhound came to rely less on sight and more on its other, keener senses. Each night, packs of moonhounds emerge from their dens to greet the moon's calder, Artis, and Laris. The songs of these ferocious beasts echo over the wilds at dusk, signaling the onset of the pack's nightly hunts. Moonhounds are deeply attuned to the moons of Cain, and their behavior alerts with the varying phases of each moon. During the light of the full moons, they often lash out, wild, and attack relentlessly. But when the moons are new, they are patient and silent stalkers. Druids who rely on moonhounds have learned to anticipate these cycles and adjust their strategies accordingly. Teams of moonhounds often accompany circle forces, delving in into dense terrain where thick undergrowth and massive trees can hinder vision, such as the Gnarls or the Ulgenholt. Unable to rely on their own eyes, the black clads know they can trust the natural abilities of their loyal Argus. Alrighty, fun fact for anybody who's never seen an Argus, they are a double-headed dog, which are terrifying in their own sense, especially since in the war machine universe or iron kingdoms there are normal dogs so these guys are just a peculiar menace to everybody in the woods actually fun fact about these guys is they also have circular vision because since they have two heads two heads are better than one and they can look at every angle they can also mark their targets as well at least this version of them which makes them a lot easier to have near your enemies so you can shoot the enemies easier also, they have the ability to hunt down guys that are trying to be stealth in the model and mark their location for their particular warcaster so they can hunt them down, which is terrifying. I've gone up against many different types of Argus in my time in the field, and each one of them is annoying in their abilities to just jack up my people on the field. Just awful all around. Alrighty, class, let's discuss a little bit about the Argus Moonhounds variation between a mark 3 to a mark 4 already appears all of its stats have maintained the same still has a mat of 5 defense and arm 14 um, still has pathfinder uh, they remove circular vision because in mark 4 there is no back arcs anymore so it's not really a thing uh, he still has his mark target which allows him to help other friendly faction models get plus two to range attacks against enemies within five of him. Also his animus hunting howls still makes enemy models lose stealth. So that's still a thing. So phenomenal. As far as he goes, not much has changed between his Mark three and Mark four. So great. Alrighty students, that does it for this particular creature. And if you could uh, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you guys like using this particular war beast in battle. Or if you hate going up against this particular war beast in battle, because I know I do. And your homework is please tell your friends and fellow gamers about this particular YouTube series, because we would love to increase the class size and, of course, keep all this train rolling. And as always, class dismissed.